So everyone knows I've championed this new investor revolution. It's seen millions of new investors come into the stock market for the first time. Of course, many were young, uh, young adults, pockets full of money and big dreams of making it big. And well, be honest with you, I've kind of seen this movie before over my career in Wall Street. It's played over and over again. Historically, it was just traditional media. This one was played on a traditional and social media. And that's where these investors found their gurus, so to speak, right? Traditional financial media kind of focused also on the fresh face investor, investment banking superstar guy, uh, Shamat Palapatia. Uh, they dubbed him, in fact, the, the SPAC king. He dubbed himself the next Warren Buffett. <laughs> in fact, he went around, he dissed people like Elon Musk, who, by the way, has created real wealth in areas that the left loves to love, uh, even when it makes no financial or social sense. So Elon Musk has been the real deal. Uh, meanwhile, like all these fresh-faced economic gurus uh, that were going to make the masses wealthy, you know, like the Sam Bankman Freeds or the Adam Newmans of the world, they were going to be benevolent and focused on social capital and all the other buzzwords. Well, it turns out that the public was being ripped off in this heist that was, by the way, aided and abetted by fawning reporters and left-leaning sites like Business Insider, with still, still providing cover for Shamat's failure by blaming higher interest rates. I think it's despicable. There isn't any outrage over the fact that people lost billions of dollars following the king of SPACs. I saw one estimate $12 billion. I'm bringing all of this up today because, well, two reasons, right? It's Giving Tuesday. Also, I saw today that uh, Marion Webster has deemed the word of the year authentic. They say that it's the word of the year because AI has blurred the lines between real and fake. Well, as far as Giving Tuesday is concerned, Shamat has given investors a hard lesson. Uh, he even poured salt in the wound, right? Uh, yes, you were people. I think people were victims. I think they bought uh, into something that he was selling. It was snake oil, and he made a lot of money on it. But obviously, the lesson is you have to be more circumspect. And I will tell you this. Never trust a person. There's two things I've learned. Never trust anyone that says that they're the next Warren Buffett or that says they're doing things because of altruism. Let them do it on their own. But when they pro talk about that, the other thing, media fawning over these gurus that come out of nowhere, all the hype, uh, be careful because someone's putting money behind that and they want a return on investment. You know what that return on investment is? Your money.